Hey guys, it's Sarah, and I have a book haul. We're not even gonna talk about it. We're just we're just gonna get into it. All right, we are gonna start with books that were sent to me from publishers. So these are all books that were sent to me for review. And the first one is one that's coming out in February, and that is Saint X. This is by Alexis Shaitkin. Shaitkin, I'm gonna say that's how you say that last name. Um, this is actually set on an island, I believe, and it follows a young girl whose older sister was um, murdered on a family vacation when she was younger. And now she uh, is older and I think she has returned to that island and maybe trying to find some answers and things like that. So I'm definitely interested in reading this. I think this is gonna be very interesting. It definitely reminds me of, this one is definitely giving me the vibes of maybe the Natalie Holloway case who, uh, she was a teenager who disappeared in Aruba. Um, and I'm wondering if maybe that was what inspired this novel. I'd be interested to see if there's some parallels with that. Um, that's kind of the first thing that came to mind when I read the synopsis for it. So this was sent to me by Celadon Books. So thank you. Thank you so much. The next one comes out in January and that is Almost Just Friends by Jill Shalvis. Now I have not read anything by Jill Shalvis before. I know she writes a lot of series and they're like women's fiction um, or chiclet, I guess if you want to call it that. And I haven't read anything by her, like I said, so I don't know if I can read this as a standalone because this is book number four in a series that she's written, but I believe from what I'm understanding of her work in general, you can read everything as standalones. They don't have to be necessarily all interconnected and you don't have to read the first ones to read anything in the series, but it does kind of focus on the same area um, and maybe some characters kind of pop up again here and there. But I need you guys to let me know because this one sounds interesting. So this one follows a woman named Piper and she is trying to get out of her hometown and all she has to do is fix up a lake house. I believe that her parents, uh, grandparents uh, left to her and so she needs to fix it up so she can sell it so she can like hightail out of there because she doesn't want to live there anymore. Um, but something happens and her siblings all come together, I think, to help her. And then a big storm hits and her and her siblings and a whole bunch of like a few other people, I think, are stuck in this lake house because it's a storm and they can't get out. So things start to happen. Secrets start to come out, I believe. So it sounds interesting. I'm definitely interested in reading something by her because I've heard good things about her books that they're just, you know, they're fun, like contemporary reads, which I'm definitely in the mood for sometimes. But I need you guys to let me know if you read anything by her, if I can just go into this without having read the first three books. So let me know that. But again, this does come out in January and this was sent to me by William Morrow. So thank you. The next one that I have was sent to me by Philomel and I actually got this through the website Bookish First. So I did read a little early sneak peek of it and entered to win the full book and I ended up getting it. So that's awesome. Um, this is Song of the Crimson Flower. This is by Julie C. Dow. And she is the same one who wrote um, Forest of a Thousand Lanterns. I had to look at the back to make sure I got the title correct. Um, but this is another work by her that is coming out in November. This one follows a young girl and she is the daughter of a very wealthy nobleman and she has a boy that is confessing his love to her but she rejects him and she ends up regretting that pretty quickly and she goes to find him and sees that in his I guess a boathouse where he lived she only sees his flute that he would carry around with him everywhere and so she takes it to take care of it so nothing bad happens to it. But what she doesn't know is that his soul is actually inside the flute because he was cursed by a witch right after she rejected him. And so I think it's her discovering that and then trying to figure out how to break that curse to get him out so that they can be together. And I'm going to read this actually now <laughs> because I'm going to use this for my young adult reading project that is going to be due in the beginning of December. So I'm going to read it because it's pretty short and um, it sounds interesting. So and it would be nice to get like a brand new release onto my list in my class. The next one I have was also sent to me by William Morrow and that is A Cruel Deception. This is by Charles Todd and this is part of the Best Crawford Mystery Series which is actually book number 11 in that series. Now this is a series I have not read before so I can't really speak about it too much because I've never read it haven't heard of it um, but book number 11 is coming out and um, let me get a date for you hang on 
October 22nd, so it's out now. Um, but this is actually a mother-son writing team, which I think is really cool. I don't know that I know of any other authors who are like a mother-son writing team, so I think that's pretty cool. Um, but book number 11 in that series is out if you're a fan. Guys, this last one. So they reached out to me and asked if I would like a copy, and I said yes. And then I got it in the mail, and I just, my eyes watered because this just makes me so happy. It's Mr. Rogers. Okay, so this is Kindness and Wonder. This is written by Gavin Edwards, and the tagline on here is Why Mr. Rogers Matters Now More Than Ever. Could not agree more. Um, this was sent to me by Day Street. Okay, so Mr. Rogers was a big part of my childhood. I loved his show. I watched it all the time, over and over. I have vivid memories of watching his show on television and watched it consistently all the time. I just, I loved it. Um, and his face just makes me so happy. <laughs> and with the movie coming out starring Tom Hanks as um, Fred Rogers is going to um, definitely put this one on people's radars, I think. And it's very short. Um, I do plan to read this very soon. It will it will be read before the end of this year. Absolutely. This comes out on October 29th. And um, yeah, I'm excited to dive into this because I just have such wonderful memories watching his television show. And it just made me so happy. These next few were sent to me by subscribers or my friends. And oh my gosh, I was when I was piling them all up, I just went, oh my gosh, I got a lot of gifts this month. Like, thank you guys so much. Okay, so the first one is I did a trade with Heather over at Bookables. Um, I had a book that I was getting rid of that I thought she would really appreciate. And so I reached out to her and we talked a little bit back and forth. And so we ended up doing a trade and I sent her the book and then she sent me The Savior's Champion. This is by um, Jenna Marecci. And and um, I had this on my wish list because I actually heard Heather talking about it. And I saw a few other people, you know, talking about it as well um, and enjoying it. So I thought I would give it a try. It's an author I've never read from before. And it was on my wish list. So she said, I have this if you got if you want this one. And I was like, yeah, I do. So she sent me this. Heather, thank you so much if you're watching. And um, yeah, I'm excited to read this one. And this is an adult fantasy from what I'm remembering. The back is very vague. We're gonna say adult fantasy. And then I had Diana reach out to me and she let me know that this was on my wish list as well and that she had an extra review copy of it that she had gotten at a book event, I believe. And she said, do you want this? And I said, yes, I do. <laughs> That's Keepers of the Lost City. This is by Shannon Messenger. This is the first book in the series. This is a pretty big series. Um, and I think I want to say the last one either just came out or it's coming out very, very soon. I don't know if it's out quite yet or not. But this is a pretty big middle grade series that I've heard really, really good things about. This is very, very popular in my daughter's middle school library. Um, the librarian has a hard time keeping them on the shelves. <laughs> so uh, when I was offered the first one, that, you know, she just had an extra copy. I said, absolutely. So I definitely want to read this. I'm thinking middle grade March, this might happen. Um, I may get my daughter to read it as well. So we'll see about that, but I'm very excited. So thank you, Diana. Okay, so this next one was a birthday gift and this was from Holda. She has sent me a couple of things and I yelled at her and I said, stop it, <laughs> but thank you. Okay, so this one is called A Silence of the Grave by Arnolder. In Dridison? <laughs> I don't know. I probably butchered that. I'm sure I did. Okay, so this is actually part of a series and it's an inspector series. And I believe this is kind of like a Nordic mystery series from what I'm understanding. Um, and it follows a specific inspector and kind of the cases he does. So this one follows a cold case and it is about a, some construction site and some bones are found while they're, you know, kind of prepping the site to start building. And slowly, like all of the bones are starting to come up and they're starting to discover everything. And then he is in charge of trying to solve this cold case and look into the family that lives near that site and all that kind of stuff. Um, he also has some personal things going on trying to uh, deal with that as well. So definitely interested in this. I've wanted to read more uh, European, like, mystery thrillers types of things. So I think this will be a good one um, to add to my list. I have a couple on my shelves. I think I'm gonna add this next to those and start reading some of those. So thank you. Okay, so this last one that was a gift for me, um, I was contacted by one of my subscribers. His, her name is Dora, 
Dorothy, Dorothy. I hope I didn't butcher that. It's, it, I feel like I want to say Dorothy, but that's not quite right. <laughs> um, she's from Germany. And she let me know that um, she was sending me something. And um, one of them is something from my wish list. And it was a Colleen Hoover book that I don't have on my shelves. And she said this is the first Colleen Hoover book she ever read. And it made her completely obsessed with her, kind of the same way I am. And this is just one I haven't read yet. And that's maybe someday. So she went ahead and sent this one to me because it's like one of the probably two or three I don't have on my shelves. So thank you. Thank you. And then she also, the reason she sent me this package is because she said that um, the Bookless Thursday videos that I do with Lindsay has given her the inspiration to publish her own little piece of work. And she took a lot of ideas from our videos and kind of it gave her the courage to have this done and have it available on Amazon. And she wanted to send me a copy of it. And I 1000% cried when I saw it because I didn't know, you know, she kind of told me the story a little bit about it, but I didn't know what kind of book it was. And she said she was going to send me a copy. So I was thinking it was like a short story or, you know, essays or something like that. I wasn't quite sure. But oh my gosh, you guys, what she sent me, it took my breath away. So I put this on Instagram recently. So if you saw the post, you've seen it already. But this is List for the Bibliophile. Look at how beautiful that cover is like I can't even take it it is so gorgeous and even the back like there's books it is so cute so this has lists in it that you can fill out so it is literally reasons why I love books and then you list them down um there are so many Every page is a different type of list. Um, I'm going to give you some examples. Places I want to visit because of a book. Characters that scared me. Um, places I like to read. The last books I borrowed from the library. Books set in my favorite season. Books I dislike after rereading. That's very interesting. Um, my favorite places to buy books. Book series I want to read. Um, book series I want to finish. <laughs> Favorite plot twists. That's a good one. Um, my favorite young adult books, books that were recommended to me. There are so many. This doesn't have page numbers on it, so I don't um, know how many lists there are exactly, but um, the back few pages are also for notes. You can just write notes here so you can make your own list or just something you want to remember. And I about lost my crap <laughs> when I saw this and read her note and just... Um, the fact that these videos that I make, that I just, I do it because I enjoy it, um, inspired somebody to, some, somebody to do something like this, I can't, like, that makes everything worth it. It makes all the time, all the preparation, all the editing, uh, all the stuff I don't necessarily enjoy about making videos, it makes it worth it. Oh, it's so good. So, Dor Dorothy. I hope I didn't butcher your name. Thank you. I can't, like, this made my entire year. I can't even handle it. This book is on Amazon. It's available. So I'm going to link it down below. If you guys are interested in grabbing a copy for yourself and having it, um, definitely do. But there are some prompts in here that are ones that we've talked about on Booklist Thursday, and there's a whole lot that we haven't. So we're probably gonna be taking some inspiration from this. So we're probably gonna do some of these lists here in our videos as well. But um, yeah best thing ever. Okay, guys, six more books. And I bought all these myself. All right, so I made a little trip to Goodwill. I did that during Spookathon, which you saw. So let's just talk about those real quick. Um, Young Jae Young. This is by Gabrielle Zevin. This is a political thriller that follows a girl who's an intern. And I believe she gets sexually involved with the... Um, political person she's working for. I don't know what his title is, if he's a senator or congressman. I'm not sure um, exactly what that is, but I believe it follows that. And she, like, she has an affair with him and all the fallout from all that stuff. So I've heard very, very good things about this book. Um, I know a lot of people who've read it and really loved it. So I grabbed it. The next one is The Naturals, and this is by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. This is a series I've been really interested in. I've heard really good things about it. It's a young adult series, and it follows, I believe, a group of kids who end up somehow helping the FBI solve cases, and they're just kind of naturally gifted 
in that aspect to the point where it frustrates the people who have been trained to do this and it just comes naturally to them. Um, but I've heard very good things about it, like really good things about it the entire series. So I figured, you know, I found the first one at Goodwill. I'll give it a try. And I also found A Discovery of Witches by Deborah Harkness. Now this is book one of the, is it a trilogy or? Yeah, trilogy. Um, I have not read this book yet, but I've heard such good things about it. It's ridiculous. And this has also just been turned into a TV series as well that I have not watched, but I have heard um, it's pretty good. And yeah, I've always wanted to read this one. I just never owned it but now I do. So no excuses, but I have heard very, very good things about it. Okay. And I did put in a book outlet order again, because I was getting some things for some gifts and I gr grabbed two books for myself because why not? It's fine. All right. The first one is Our Dark Duet by Victoria Schwab. This is book number two in the Songs of, is it Songs of Verity? duology, I believe. There's only two books. And the first one is The Savage Song. And I have that one already on my shelf. So this one's going to get added next to it. And I'll be ready to read this. But I did read some Victoria Schwab earlier this year and loved them. So I definitely want to read more from her. And I really think um, that I would enjoy these. And this next one from Book Outlet, I'm completely blaming one of you. I don't remember who it was. <laughs> <laughs> but somebody said on my last book outlet haul, I believe I hauled um, Red Sister by Mark Lawrence. And then someone piped up and said, Grey Sister's on there now. And I was like, oh, crap. <laughs> so I got it because it wasn't on there when I was on there before. When I bought the first one, it was not there. I looked. And sure enough, as soon as I saw that comment, I went and looked. And yep, it was on there. So this is book two of the Ancestor trilogy. So now I have the first two. The third one is kind of a more recent release, so it might take a little bit longer to get on Book Outlet, but I'm going to keep my eye out. And when Holy Sister goes up there, I'm going to add it. Um, but yeah, so this is your fault. And the last one just came in the mail like an hour ago. I was waiting for it to come so I could do this book haul. <laughs> and, oh, Christina Lauren, Twice in a Blue Moon. Okay. Um, I pre-ordered this absolutely because Christina Lauren has quickly become one of my favorite authors. And um, it is a writing duo. I know they're two women, but um, for the ease of everything, I just say author. But um, yeah, this one follows a woman who I believe is the daughter of a very famous movie director or producer or something. And she tries to keep that kind of hush hush on the down low um just for privacy reasons and stuff and I believe she has like a love affair with somebody um and she tells him who her father is and then shortly after um she tells him it's kind of made public and she completely blames him for that but I have a feeling he didn't say anything um and I believe this is like a second chance love story um but I will read anything that Christina Lauren writes I don't care what it is I'm going to read it. So I did not hesitate to pre-order this one. Okay, guys, that's it. Ooh, that was a lot, but I'm excited about all of them. I have to find some room on my shelves now. We're going to try to do that. And everything's fine. Everything's fine over here. Believe me. So thank you again to the publishers who sent me books for review. I'm really excited to read them. Thank you to you guys who sent me books like... Just know you don't ever have to do that. And when you do, I appreciate it so much. And I usually yell at you. So thank you. Thank you. And yeah, let me know if you read any of them. What should I make a priority? And I will see you guys again soon. Hope you have a great day.